I'm Betty White, and you're watching the Veterinary News Network. The word cancer strikes fear into the hearts of many, and you'd be surprised to know how many dogs have cancer. Well, a new project by the Morris Animal Foundation hopes to wipe out this canine killer within one dog's lifetime. Good girl. Although it's not obvious, Katie is sick. This one-time therapy dog is fighting her second round with cancer, a disease that kills one out of every four pets. Cancer actually affects more than 50% of dogs and is the leading cause of canine deaths. Some purebreds, especially golden retrievers and boxers, are affected at even higher rates. In one sense, Katie is lucky. Her owner and her veterinarian continue to tirelessly battle her lymphoma. A few pills every day, hidden in a peanut butter treat, makes up her chemotherapy. Other dogs aren't so fortunate. Many owners are unaware of the treatment options and end up making a heart-wrenching decision for euthanasia. In an effort to educate pet owners and eliminate the threat of cancer, the Morris Animal Foundation has started the Canine Cancer Campaign bringing together leading scientists, research laboratories, and pharmaceutical companies. The cancer campaign hopes to eventually involve all dog-owning households in their fundraising efforts. The campaign has a goal of reaching $30 million in research funds in five years. Already, several studies are making progress in the battle. The aggressive goal of the campaign is to eliminate canine cancer within the next 10 to 20 years. And Katie? Well, her owner reports that she's still the boss of the household and making the most of each and every day. Beyond helping our pets, this research may very well help human cancer research. You know, dogs and humans share many different types of cancer. So one day, this research could help someone in your family. I'm Dr. Jim Humphreys reporting.